So once again, we're heading out to try and get more comfortable at deeper ranges. We've lucked out with some great weather and very little current. So we're pushing out to some wrecks, sitting in about 20 meters of water, coming up to about 15 meters. First dive for the day, not feeling the most comfortable. So I only get down to about 16, 17. Quite a long shot on this salmon. And this spear's got caught on this rock, and I can feel the drag coming on me from the reel. dive down, starting to feel a bit more comfortable in the water, nice little snapper cruising around, unfortunately due to the ban in South Australia we are not currently allowed to take snapper. It's got a nice boar fish, so take that home for tender. Once again, that line was creating quite a bit of drag, so just get that real free spooling for as little resistance on the way up as possible. Fish are quite spiny little buggers. He thrashed about there and stabbed me in the thigh. So you want to brain the fish and bleed it as soon as possible to keep uh, the meat quality as good as, as high as possible. Unfortunately, I had strung the fish because my flopper had jammed from the previous shot where it jammed on the rock and some sand had got caught up inside the flopper. So the sandy bottom you can see there is sitting right about 19.8 metres. Once again not feeling entirely confident so I've taken another Hail Mary long shot and some whiting resulted in a mess.
and as to teach me a lesson, the boat has managed to drift over here, collecting me on the way out. That's not what you want when you come up. It's now going down inside the cargo area of the wreck. Quite a few little whiting getting about. Nice little snapper down in the hole. Quite a bit of bait getting around on the wreck, but not many desirable species for us to target this day, unfortunately. As I'm coming down, something's caught my eye, out the corner of my eye. Through this opening, a large snapper is just behind that column off to the right hand side of the screen. Unable to get a good view of it, I've wasted too much time, so I'm going to head back up. Having seen the snapper go off more towards the centre of the ship, I'm dropping down there and have a bit of a scratch to see what comes out. Started leaking, so we've head back up. Sam's headed down and seen quite a large school snapper. I wanted to get some footage of this, so I've head down and tried to position myself the same way that he was when he saw them. Sitting on the edge of the wreck looking off into the sand. Unfortunately, big school snapper didn't make an appearance.
finally starting to get into my comfort zone. I'm going to head down, sit on the sand off the side of the wreck and see what we can see. I was hoping to find some flathead, but alas it was not too big. Small trevally, pipe perch, silver drummer, but nothing of too much interest. Cool snapper still on my mind. I'm gonna try again to sit on the edge of the wreck and have a bit of a scratch. See if they come in. There's a little cutout on the edge of the deck, making a perfect little hidey hole. This dive, I'm just going to pull myself along the deck a bit, have a bit of an explore, see what's about. Nice little wrasse. Some magpie perch. Lots of schooling fish inside the hole. We've tied off our float with a spare weight belt to mark the centre of the ship. Once again, going down to have a bit of an explore, have a look inside the hull, tying the torch to see if it improves the view. Any. While we're down there, take this lead sinkers and hook back to the surface, back to the boat. Always good to get trash out of the ocean when you can.
Last dive for the day. Getting back down to the bottom, just shy of 20 metres. As I'm sitting on the bottom, I notice quite a large cuttlefish sitting under the hole there looking at me. I decided to go in and try and get a bit of a better view. 